Hi, this is Gary. This is a short video for the Motono Madness folks that were interested in a product called Multi ECU Scan, um, a tool that can be used to diagnose things like airbag faults, which I've got in my van at the moment. Um, my van's a Fiat Ducato 2.3 uh, Multi Jet, it's a facelift version, and the version of the Multi ECU Scan that I'll be using is version 4.5 and I've paid 50 euros to to purchase that and register it what I've also purchased is a yellow adapter cable down here and that's plugged into the vehicle ODB2 port along with a, a diagnostics interface called an ELM327 interface cable that plugs into the laptop via USB port so you need those three things the for the airbag at least, uh, the yellow cable, the ELM327 diagnostics cable and the software. If you're just wanting to look at, if you look down here, you want to look at uh, things like the engine um, codes, that sort of thing, um, do a service interval reset, maybe you've changed the oil or something like that, so you um, you want to reset the, <coughs> the, the oil light as well. Um, you don't need that yellow yellow adapter that's only required for the airbag so anyway without further ado let me turn on the ignition you have to turn that on so that it can power up the the modules and read the details let's do the right front doors open so I'll get rid of that beeping and then you'll see down there the airbag lights on and it comes up with the air, airbag failure and says go and see the handbook. Now what a lot of people have been doing is down here, down by my feet, is the vehicle battery and within the same compartment is the airbag ECU. So they've been disconnecting that and sending it off to a company to have all the errors cleared. But hopefully by me showing this tool that could waste you quite a bit of money i think it's 72 pounds um with the postage for that service so uh let's go and have a look at the airbag anyway so everything's ready click on airbag i know that i've got the trw airbag not the type 2 or the my05 you may have one different if you don't know just hit scan and it'll um it'll tell you which modules are available as it's pointing out there so i'm going to connect to the one i know i have so connecting it prompts you have you got the yellow cable hit yes and that's now connecting to to the airbag ECU hopefully there you go that's connected so it's come up with basic information about the vehicle what we're interested in is this tab up here which is the error codes and I've not actually looked at this so that this is a as new to me as it is to you uh, so it's actually got three errors so but the good news uh, is that they're nothing to do with the airbag ECU so I don't need to take that and post it off to that company by the look of it anyway so it looks like it's got the pretension of resistance is high for the drivers and the passenger side and I think that's likely going to be that the pins are maybe damp or corroded uh, or the the connections the the, 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 the plugs aren't um, excuse me aren't on on hundred percent secure so I'll have a look at that and the pretensioners by the way they're down here so the, you just unscrew here and and down here and you can lift that off and you'll see the potential uh, pretensioner wiring within there and it goes down within the seat so it could be anywhere where maybe even the wiring's got nipped whilst I swiveled the seat around. Interestingly as well, the driver's seat belt switch is open circuit, so it's not even able to communicate with that at the moment. So I'll have to have a look at that to see whether um, a wire has been cut or something. What you can do, um, this is for most, you know, the engine, uh, ECU, etc. There's lots and lots of parameters you can you can monitor on that one obviously this is only monitoring the airbag and the pretensioners so there's there's not that much to monitor but what will be interesting let's have a look see find the pretensioner stuff so the driver's pretensioner resistance passengers and the driver's seat belt and let's have a look at the pretensioner counter as well just to be sure 
So the counter showing zero, and then up on the top right hand corner, it, it actually gives you some guidance. So basically, clear and anything other than zero, get worried. Um, fortunately, these this is zero. Driver's belt has got an error. I don't think I'll say much more than that because it's just um, it knows it's open circuit. So so status of indicated C belt fastened, not fastened. And then this is I think the key piece. It'll um, it'll just tell you the resistance that it's seeing. So what I can do now is maybe read up on Google find out what that resistance should be and uh, get some guidance as to what might make the resistance high but before we do that you can go in here and graph it if you know some of these values they are they are live so you can start a graph it's more for the engine really if you want to look at i don't know a temperature or um an in, uh, the, the the flow of diesel through your vehicle then this will show a histogram if you've got an intermittent fault you can leave this running and see how often it comes up that sort of thing so we'll stop that we don't really need it for the airbag and then the actuators for the engine lots of things you can do to set things i know on the abs you can cycle the abs and um uh, and, and 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 actually get it to work to purge the system on the engine you can uh, do a forced uh, clean of the diesel particle filter for example so really powerful all you can do and here I won't I won't do it uh, is just on the on the dashboard here there will be uh, various lights so that you can just check just make sure that the bulbs are working I guess but what I'd like to do on this is just check to see whether this is just an intermittent thing that's seen a fault and then um, it's no longer present uh, so by clearing the errors down here that will, that will tell me if they if they come back then it's a proper fault and I'm gonna to have to investigate the wiring so let's clear the errors see what happens so that's clearing and they're still there so it looks like I do have a do have a problem in fact let me just double check I'll go out and back in again yeah they're still there so try clearing it one more time Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're real faults. So I've, I've got a problem with my pretensionism, and my driver's seatbelt. So I can work on that. But um, yeah, as I said, if uh, I didn't have this tool, I wouldn't know where to where to start on it, and I'd probably be ripping out an ECU unnecessarily and sending it off for 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 repair. That would then get refitted. It'd still have the pretensioner issues, and the faults would just come straight back again. So money well saved, I guess it's just paid for itself already. So I hope you found that useful. As I said, have a look at it. The, you can, if I disconnect, you can actually simulate everything. So if I go, I, I'd need to remove that yellow plug. But if you go into the engine and simulate, and then it's the parameters, if I do, a select all. I think you can do a select all down here. Select a lot of them, and then um, it should. There you go. You can see all these various engine speeds, all sorts of things that you can monitor. It's just super, super powerful. So if you've got a problem with your turbos and your boost pressures and that sort of thing, I, th I looked at this earlier actually. And one thing is that it will show you the oil grade grade degradation so it'll use a, a number of things to say whether your oil's good or not so how many um, diesel article filter recycles and things like that that's been done last time the service light was reset it will then work out just how degraded your oil and give you a better indication of when you need to change it so anyway uh, lots and lots you could go through there for 50 euros plus <coughs> Um, the cost of the cables it all come to about sorry came to about 65 pounds in total so well worth the money i think cheers then